I'm not going to even tell you that I'm tired. From now on, just look at me and automatically assume it. Alright? So, anybody need like a 260 pound, 6 foot 3 house pet? Because I'm available. Is it bad that I considered stepping out in front of a bus because I don't want to go into work tonight? Then I thought to myself how much that actually might hurt and then realized that I'm just a big pussy because I'm not man enough to get hit by a bus. set up so go straight to voicemail and I show up and can't contact you and you live in an apartment building guess what you're not going to get I'll give you a hint your food Motherfucker. guess what the moron king did I forgot my charger wire for my cell phone at the house and this phone will last only about two hours without a charge so at least I know a gas station that sells them for like 10 bucks from 7-Eleven once, like $17, 20 for a wire. <laughs> uh -uh. Now you're up in that club smelling like straight garlic rub. You need to spray that ass for me. 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 You don't smell too clean. Your scent you got's pretty mean. Spray that ass she King Kongs her way up to my truck while I'm at a red light. You want a date? No! I can hear the little voice in my head going, Mike, she could probably flip you and the truck over. Run! Run! Plus, I just bought these new boxers, right? And they don't breathe. I don't know what they're made out of, but it's like walking around wearing rubber pants really seals in the flavor oh. I don't have to worry about anybody bothering me when we go out because my girlfriend's the size of a grizzly bear yeah and she got breath like one too what'd you say? hon, I barely said anything oh must be that extra flavor it's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, right? You order yourself some food, right? You live in this gigantic building. I mean, that must be, I don't even know, 30 stories, maybe more. How am I supposed to contact you without, if you don't answer your phone? You're not getting your food. Retarded. I said to myself, I said, oh yeah, that's mad. Oh, that's mad. Is that mad? That's mad. Is that like this? <laughs> this is man. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's all man. Now being tired isn't just a feeling. It's a lifestyle. You adapt to it, push through it, and still get shit done. Well, I gotta go home and play Dr. Dad. My uh, little buddy ain't feeling too well. See you tomorrow.